I'm sorry, you hear some noise. My cat is going crazy upstairs. He's quiet all the time. And then when I actually want to record something, then he starts like going nuts. But um, so it's several months now I'm into this commitment that I made to show up and share a video each week and just share like what's going on for me. What am I learning? What's happening? I'm really enjoying this. I, it was such a challenge for me to get going with it. And it remains a challenge sometimes, of course, but I like having those kinds of structures um, for myself and things that I commit to doing every week, every day, every month, something like that. This week, I noticed something interesting. It's funny. It's one of those things where you notice something and it's like, whoa, like mind blowing that that huge like shift in uh, perception as soon as you see it. And then I went to write it down to share it because it was so cool. And then as soon as I wrote it down, I was like, oh, this seems so simple and obvious. And then I didn't want to share it because it's like, it seems too simple and obvious. Like why even bother? But um, I did put it out there and, and share it. And a lot of the feedback I got from people were like, wow, like that's so simple, but so true. And it was just like a nice little reminder. So I want to talk a little bit more about that. And it also kind of ties in with what I wanted, really want to share, which is that next week, uh, so February 25th to March 1st, I'm going to do a visibility challenge. So it's going to be like a free one on Instagram and Facebook where we can all um, work on some visibility stuff together to be sharing your gifts with the world just a little more brightly. So I'm excited about that. I think the more creative dreamers find new ways to shine that light, um, it, it benefits everyone. So this is the thing that I noticed. I had, we all have problems, right? <laughs> we all have problems about, you know, things that make it harder to work on our dreams. And um, this is kind of an experiment. I was making a list of all my problems and I was trying, whenever I found a new obstacle or problem, I would add it to this one page in, in my journal. Um, and that's part of a larger project I'm working on, which hopefully I'll share one day soon, which is a journaling system for, for dreamers. But I wanted to see like what will I what kind of patterns will I see if I keep track of the problems all together in one place. And when I looked over the list, I realized holy shit, like each problem can be rewritten, reframed, and it's actually a dream. So everybody's big dream, every everybody's main dream is to live like to be your true self and then to live in a way that reflects that. So for me, for so long, when I was struggling, figuring out like how to be an artist, how to be creatively self-employed, um, it wasn't so much about selling art or anything like developing a business or anything like that. It was about having a sense of creative freedom and autonomy and, and how, how I live my life. And that brought me more connected to my true self. So it's like it's kind of working back and forth in terms of inner and outer. So each um, time we change our outer world to be more in alignment with our dreams, we actually make more space for our true selves. And then as we have more space for our true selves, we grow deeper into that expression of who we, we really are. And then we have new dreams out in the outer world. And it's like they both just continually feed each other, which is really cool. Um, so that's the big dream. That's like every, everybody's big dream. And then we have, we could have millions of small dreams within that, that all support that, that larger dream. So when I talk about the problem becoming a dream, the problems become one of those smaller dreams. And each of those dreams are always helping us move more into that bigger dream. So for example, like one of the problems I had was I'm feeling stuck. I don't know what to do with my project. So when I see it as a problem like that, it's like, shit, I have to solve the problem in its entirety before I can move on. That's just um, what my brain was doing with that. Right? Often with our dreams, like any good dream, <laughs> you're not going to know what to do with it. Right. Like if you have a dream and you already know how to make it real, that's like not much of a dream. Right. So a dream is going to have all sorts of places where you don't know what to do and you have to stretch and grow and learn. Right. So dreams should come with lots of problems, lots of questions or obstacles or however you want to look at that. 
So when I looked at this dream, this problem of I'm stuck, I don't know what to do, and turn it into a dream, you just rewrite it. So if my problem is I'm stuck with my creative project, I don't know what to do, then my dream is I want creative flow. I want to move forward with my projects. I want to feel like that freedom of like creative expression. These are all dreams. Once I see it as a dream, I no longer have to know exactly what to do with it in order to work with it, play with it, experiment and explore and just try things. That was really helpful for me this week. Just that kind of small perspective shift. And that perspective shift is what I really want to share next week with the visibility challenge. We're starting with the assumption you have gifts to share with the world. I believe that this is true of every person. You don't have to be like wanting to have a business or make money from them. You don't have to be um, they don't have to be anything other, other than who you are. And for this challenge to be helpful, what you need is some kind of willingness to be putting yourself out there in a new way, allowing your gifts to be more visible in the outer world, because we all know that you have them inside of you. So how can we share that a little more brightly? That's the challenge. We all have so many problems when it comes to visibility, right? Like it's, uh, there's a, first of all, there's a load of problems in the outer world in terms of like, I may not understand how to use some of the technology I think I need to use to be visible. I may not know how to get um, attention or publicity or anything like that. Um, uh, I, you know, like I have no idea what to do with all that, right? And then even if we learn about that, there's all the inner obstacles where it just feels so vulnerable and scary to put ourselves out there because your gifts are your your heart, right? And we're so af- we can be so afraid of being judged or um, even just being afraid to be seen as gifted as you actually are. There's so many places where this gets tangled, and so the aim of the challenge then is to spend a week just exploring this with like-minded people because I think it's amazing what can shift if you could give us a little bit of time every day Monday to Friday next week I will be posting things um I'll, I'll write about it below all of the details so it's easier to see what we're doing but things can sure change when you pay attention to them <laughs> that was a big thing that happened you know we had our last um group coaching call this week for the alchemy coaching which was turning the obstacle into the way through and it was just like holy shit thing can change so much when you just sit with what's happening like every time we have an obstacle we want to pretend we don't have it we want to avoid it we want to like dance around it we sit with it right if we can just be with it especially in a supportive like with other people who get it, there's always so much magic in it. During that call, one of the participants, I was so blown away. She's called me the, she's, or she called the coaching group the, the holy grail for dreamers, that being able to have a supportive place to do that work is the holy grail and we talked about how hard it is that out in the world and if you're looking on social media it's all like inspiration motivation just get out there and do it right and it it can be really easy to feel like if you're not getting out there and doing it that means there's something wrong with you and um, what we learned in the group together was so powerfully was that we all have places where we get stuck And that the places where we get stuck have the most to teach us. Always. Wherever you feel like you may be stuck with uh, putting yourself out there a little and sharing your gifts with the world, come join us next week. It's Monday to Friday. If you could just spend like 10 minutes a day working on this, it's totally free. It happens on Instagram and Facebook. I'll be there every day to help, you know, brainstorm with you, support and encourage you. I think it's amazing what what we can do in in that. So you are amazing. There is so much magic and possibility inside of you. Let's just take a little bit of time to make space to let it out in a new way.